Uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. Father and Gator, my Father and Gator, my Father in Heaven, Yah, and Jesus Christ, my Redeemer. Um, all the praise and glory. But anyway, this here, I seen this on the news the other day. And I want y'all to take a look at that guy right there. He throws his hands up in there. He's got a smile on his face. These are supposed to be people that's desperate to get away from this watch them, but let's watch a little bit of this. Okay, folks, this is a setup. This is a, I think, I mean, I believe it's a big lie. You know, they're just, they, like the people that came up, that was coming up to our border when President Trump was running the, uh, the, um, uh, run for president he had all them people coming up carrying their own flags you know up to the mexican border but i think this is a psyop well i really i know it is but uh uh i don't want to show you something uh, y'all see that one one oh nine the way the evil rulers read this is nine eleven. y'all remember president trump that time when he said i was down there at uh, at the Twin Towers on 7-Eleven, you know, because it means in the Hebrew that is 7-Eleven, the way they read it, because they got a whole different language in our, uh, than we do, than they taught us. But on the side here is below it, it's number 62, and then 446 is two more numbers down here. But I'm going to show you how this is a sign of the rapture on 7-Eleven. Now, it may not happen on 7-Eleven, but I believe they think it is, and uh, I hope it is, you know, or, or the harvest. But anyway, that is 9-11. But the other number, 62, it's 62 and 446. Let's see what uh, 62 means right quick. Um, 62 is um, a chapter that primarily addresses a preparation for the Lord's second coming and the glorious restoration of his people. Um, behold, the Lord has sent a message to the end of the earth. Tell the daughter of Zion, behold, your salvation comes. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Um, David especially selected the male descendants of Obed-Edom, which numbered 62 men who were able and strong as doorkeepers, gatekeepers, you know, you might say. But anyway, I'm going to stop that one there. That was that number um, 62. What's right on the side of that plane? And uh, this, the 446, let's see here. The Just say you turn that 62 back, the way they read it, it will be 29. Uh, and I've seen something on here that, um, that anniversary of a marriage because there's going uh, you, you hear about the bride and the bridegroom you know the the bridegroom's coming after his bride well this is uh, the number 29 is put one of the meanings is anniversary of marriage J. Dot weddings um, number 29 is used eight times which means an eight means a new beginning and uh, then 3,000, but I want to go on with the next one. Um, the number 446 means this. There, it's a sign of that they're going to try to stop the rapture because the people are running alongside the, side the plane that's going to lift off the ground, and it's got 911 on the side, and uh, but they're trying to stop it. They're showing you that they're going to stop people from going in the harvest, the first rapture. You know, that with, with what's going around these days, what they're doing is uh, demagnet or magnetizing people. People's getting magnetized with the snake stuff. And, uh, you know, they, they're, they're changing humans' magnetics. But anyway, let's see what this says, 446. This is one that tells it. The Emperor Augustus divided the Roman provinces into senatorial and imperial. The former were governed by proconsuls, the later by uh, of the emperor, sometimes called propators. Um, so they're saying this. Okay, 
Um, let's read down here how it's used in the Bible. One was with the deputy of the country, talking about uh, a prudent man, withstood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the. Then the deputy, when he saw what he has done, believed, being astonished at. The law is open, and there are the deputies that let them implead one another. So this is talking about a a Roman, um, just say a governor, because that's what it is, uh, a, a man in power. The emperor is going to try to stop this. Well, uh, okay, y'all can see all these people supposed to be running, and this guy here, um, I don't want y'all to see this. They're running, shaking their hands, smiling, you know. Are they really desperate, you know? Um, I think it's a, a, a paid psyop. You know, they paid these people, I believe. But, you know, they may not have, but it sure looks like it because they don't look like the people really panicking. But what happens whenever this plane does take off, then they show you it looks like people falling off the plane, you know what? when it gets up in the air, which I think's uh um bogus uh bogus pictures, but um it may not, you know, I but anyway, I just believe this sixty two or twenty nine and uh oh six forty four. See what six forty four is. Six forty four a shadow cast by an object or a faint image, a copy of an object. Well to understand what this really, you know, to get more deeper meaning of it, you go to the root words and see what the root words of that mean. It's from the origin of APO. Let's see the meaning of that. Because it's um, from, away from. They're wanting to keep you away from the, the harvest, the rapture. But when you get on down here, it's, it, yeah, it's against, after, uh, away. I mean, um, then you get... Uh, left once you know i mean they're they're they're, they're telling you they're going to stop people from going which they are doing because god said we'll be in a great deception and uh that uh, with witchcraft sorceries and some other stuff some other words you know that i can't even say on here that they're using to to magnetize people because it's going to be a, the the harvest will be a magnetic event like two magnets going together uh so you can't your magnetics can't be changed. I'm afraid to say very much because some I, I try to go back and watch. Okay, of local separation, uh, of departing, fleeing, removing, expelling. Um, I mean, it's just all about them not that uh, it's a it's a ritual against the the rapture of the church, the rapture of the bride. It's a ritual trying to stop. The rapture, all those numbers and symbols, because that's how they speak, folks. They are they have a whole different language than we do. Uh, they read backwards, like the Hebrew language is read backwards from right to left. And um, I was going to read a few more down through here, right quick. Um, abstaining, avoiding, concealing, and hindering. This is the part of that root word of. And there's some more down through here. It's all about separation, a state of separation, separating. But there's another thing going on right now. The wheat and tares are being separated on this earth. So we're in this harvest, period. I believe that with everything in me. But uh, but anyway, uh, oh, yeah, from a child. Y'all know the, the woman clothed with the sun, sun and a moon under her feet that's pregnant. Uh, painting uh, in pain to be delivered uh, about the child. This has also got to do with that child, I believe, uh, of Revelation. You know the root words of it, because that's how they understand language. They they use a whole. A, they'll use a word, and the the only meaning it it is is from the root of that word. You know that's how they their language is. You know they can use one long word and just use a part of the word. Uh, but anyway, I thank y'all for coming to my channel. Uh, uh, I was going to play the 7-Eleven uh, from Pre uh, bu uh, Trump, but I believe I'll pass on it this time. Uh, well, let me see here. All right.
Well, it's my internet's pretty slow, so I'm gonna. Well, maybe it'll be fast enough to show y'all that, because this means September the 11th. When he's saying 7-11, he's meaning 9-11, because he knows the language that I'm talking about. He knows the other language. The elite rulers, Illuminati, Masons, the upper level Masons, uh, that they all know the secret language, and uh, they they're they're out to rule the world with ty, you know their ty. See here. Okay, y'all heard that, the 7-Eleven.